So Apple just came out with its fancy new credit card, but all these names can be even more confusing than before. Apple Pay, Apple Cash, and now Apple Card. In this video, I will tell you the difference between them and how you can set them up to get started. What's up everybody, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. So this is not going to be a heavy, geeky, deep dive video in this topic. I just want to show you enough so you know about them and how to get started. If you want me to cover them more in details, please comment below. I also have included the links in the description in case if you want to read more about them. So Apple Pay is Apple's way of offering a secure and convenient way to pay for your products and services online and in store. You basically use your existing debit or credit card to set it up with Apple Pay to be more secure. So how does Apple Pay actually work? Well, think of it this way. When you use your debit or credit card, every time your information is transmitted through the merchant to the bank to authenticate that transaction. But when you use Apple Pay, your device, whether it's your phone or your watch, will be authenticated once with your bank and then will be given a digital token. And then every time you use your device in person or online to pay with Apple Pay, that token will generate a random key, will send it to the bank to authenticate that transaction. And this is how you can safeguard your information from potential hacks you have seen in the news. You can start using Apple Pay as soon as you add your debit, credit, or even prepaid card to your wallet app. It's fairly straightforward. Just go to your wallet app and hit the plus icon at the top right and then you can follow the instruction on the screen. You can also follow the instructions in the link I have included in the description below. So what is Apple Cash? Now think of Apple Cash as a virtual card that you can load money into and spend it wherever Apple Pay is accepted. When you send money to your friends using Apple Pay in messages, it goes into their Apple Cash. When you get daily cash back from Apple's new credit card, it goes into your Apple Cash. To pay with Apple Cash, you just need to select Apple Cash when using Apple Pay. You can use it to pay down your Apple credit card balance or just transfer that balance into your bank account or use that money to again send it to other friends. To start using Apple Cash, just turn on Apple Cash and settings under Wallet and Apple Pay. And finally, Apple Card, which is now available to everybody in the US as of August 20th. Apple Card is Apple's new credit card. Well, sort of. It's basically a MasterCard offered through Goldman Sachs, with APR ranges anywhere from 13% to 24%, and with daily, yes daily, cash back of 1, 2, or 3%. So what's the big deal? Well, it's all the Apple-y stuff that Apple does and stands for, such as simplicity, transparency, and privacy. It also comes with a free titanium card, which does not have any numbers in the front or back for security. And it's pretty cool, you can activate it using your phone and the NFC chip by just touching the card. Apple also claims it's the first and only card that actually encourages you to pay down your interest. It also have no fees, no annual fees, no transaction fees, no penalty fees, or any other fees. And most of these features are actually loaded into the wallet app to help you understand your spending and help you pay down the interest. The charges are easy to understand with the map location of the store and much more, which I will cover in another video. I'm planning on using this card for all my expenses and purchases for an entire week, and I'll make a video so I can cover its features, how it works in more details, and my thoughts on the card. So how do you apply? It's really easy. If you live in the US and you have at least an iOS 12.4, you can go to your wallet app, hit the plus icon, and you will see the option to get started. The process is easy. You will fill out your basic information, such as your name, date of birth, phone number, address, and then last four of social income and submit. Most applications will get an instant result and you can start using Apple Card right away and you don't need to wait for a physical card to arrive. So what's the point of physical card, you may ask? Well, if a store doesn't accept Apple Pay, you can still use the card and get your 1% daily cash back in your Apple Cash and still take advantage of the app feature. And by the way, you will get 2% cash back on all your purchases and 3% cash back when you use the card in an Apple Store, such as online or in person. Again, there is a lot to show you about the Apple Card and the features 
in its app. So I will make a separate video to cover all of its features. So please make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification so you won't miss that video coming up. So this was it guys. Thank you so much for watching this short video. I hope this was helpful and give me some feedback. Let me know whether you like this or not. And don't forget, as always, comment down below so we can keep the conversation going. What questions do you have? What do you think about Apple Card? And are you gonna get one? Or maybe you already have one. And if you're a return subscriber, I just cannot thank you enough for your continuous support. This community is growing rapidly. And if this is the first time you're visiting, thank you so much for stopping by to watch this content. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy tech content like this. I will see you in the next one.